over here. Say this. Hopefully I can see today. Hello there. Hello, everybody. How are you? Thank you for coming on. We're going to get started, y'all. Because once again, I'm late. I tell you, prepping for these lives are not always easy, y'all. How are y'all? Let me pull this up so we can see. How is everyone doing this afternoon? Now, I know it's a little late, but this meal that I'm making is not going to take long, okay? We're going to throw a few things together. Now, what I have here is some ribs, okay? They're done. But what I have not done is put sauce on them, okay? That's trash. That's trash. We're going to put some sauce on these ribs. This is what we're starting with. Because I want to get in the oven what, what takes a minute to cook. All right? Welcome, everybody. I got another phone here. I'm hoping I can see some comments. Run up. Run up. I got Calvin in here with me today, y'all. Oh, I see him now. I see him. All right. I'm trying to get it together. Don't worry about it. I'm trying to get it, the camera together. There you are. I got a lot of stuff behind me because we're going to use that stuff. Okay. Hello, everyone. Yes. Let's see. Who do we have? Miss Jean, Miss Tina, Miss Sharon Huggins. Hello, Miss DeLois. Hello, everyone. Come on in. Calvin is going to try and help me, all right? But what I have here is, is two slabs of baby back ribs. I put them in the oven, okay? Um, and what we're going to do, we're just going to put some sauce on them, and we're going to put them back in the oven. Only going to let them cook because they are done. We're only going to let them cook for about mm, 20 minutes or so, okay? So I have some barbecue sauce. That's all that's in here barbecue sauce in my barbecue sauce and you don't have to put anything in it y'all you don't have to put anything in it i'm going to add some little sweet chili i like this hi miss cynthia miss chila is that what that that is i'm going to put a little bit of this in my in my sauce my barbecue sauce and i'm going to put a little bit of mustard Hi, Miss Shirley. Hey, Shirley Frazier. How are you? A little bit of mustard, y'all, okay? Thank you. Yes, y'all, it is our anniversary. I came on here rushing, so I haven't even said anything. Calvin and I, on Valentine's Day, will, have been married, will be married for 32 years. Yes, Lord. 32 years, so I'm sorry, y'all. You didn't miss anything. That was somebody calling in. Okay, so we're going to take and we're going to put this sauce. And you use any kind of sauce you want. All right? Hi, Miss Kenya. Hi, Miss Deborah. If I missed your name, I do apologize. I am going to take and flip this over and put some of this sauce on the bottom, y'all. Hi, Miss Laura. Are y'all getting ready for supper or have y'all already had your supper? I know it's the Super Bowl tonight. Tina Barry said, praise God. Yes, ma'am. Thank you, Miss Tina. 
Hi, Miss Lachelle. Okay, let me um flip these over and try to get some of this sauce on the bottom, y'all. We want some of this sauce. I don't want to tap my ribs because they are tender. Yes. They are tender. I should have started on the bottom and worked my way to the top, but I didn't, and it's all good. Oh, Sarah Huggins said, congratulations on 35 years of marriage. Blessed to both of you. Thank you. I'm just trying to lift it up to get some of this sauce on the bottom, y'all. These are going to be as tender as butter. Brian Key said, happy Sunday. Thank you. Hi, Mr. Brian. What time is dinner? <laughs> Dinner's going to be in just a little while. Believe it or not, it is not going to take us long to put this together. Okay. Let's put the rest of it. Let's let's drown it so there will be they'll be sticky. I have let's ch let me tell you what we're fixing today real quick. We're gonna do baked beans, real simple. I've already cooked my uh, um, Italian sashes to go in it, and I did that because I wanted to get some of the grease off. So you cook them first and get your grease off of them, right? Hi, Miss Copeland. Okay, so these go back in the oven uncovered. Uncovered. I'm going to be passing stuff to Cal to put back up for me, y'all. All right. In the oven. Just like that. Yes. All right. Now we're going to put our baked beans on. Y'all, we got some good stuff to eat tonight. Yes, we do. And you, you'll see some of this stuff sitting here on this counter because we're going to use it, okay? Jacqueline Williams said happy anniversary. Thank you, Miss Jacqueline. Welcome, everybody who is coming on. Yes. Let's put these beans on, okay, so we can get them in the oven and we can keep it moving. Now, y'all, my plan was to take y'all outside to the griddle. That's not going to happen, okay? It's not going to happen, but it's all good. I have, with our ribs, y'all know, we got steaks and lamb chops, and I'm not going to put y'all through that. I'm going to put them on the stove and let y'all see me put them on the stove, and we'll just keep moving while they're cooking, okay? Because I made those not too long ago. Let's get our beans. I got three cans of Van Camp beans. We're using these, okay? With us from Brazil, say hello, Karen. Hi, hi, Miss Carletta, Miss Wakina. Uh, I think I know who that is. I think that's Nikki or Nicole. Nicole, I think that's who that is. Three cans, y'all. I'm not making much, okay? They just like them sweet. Here you go. They just like them sweet. So if you want to put all the extra stuff in here, you can. What we do have, though, is some Italian sashes. Okay, I've already cooked it. We're going to put some of that into our beans. Hi, Miss Peggy. And I'm not going to put it all in here. Okay. And uh, Devonna Taylor said, is it for Super Bowl? This is just for us tonight. Um, I mentioned as we came on, it is Calvin and, and my anniversary on Valentine's. And because both of us have to work on Valentine's, we decided to have our anniversary dinner today. Now, some of y'all might think, that's what y'all having? Yep. We have what we like. It doesn't always go together. Let's get some sugar. The only thing I'm going to put in these beans, sugar and syrup. And you see the Italian sashes, okay? So let's get some sugar. You can put onions in there if you want to. 
really, I make these baked beans for my baby girl because it's one of her favorites. Yeah, Brian Keith said brown sugar. You can use brown sugar. I use white. Doesn't make me any difference, right? And y'all going to think, well, that's a lot of sugar, Carrie. Don't worry about that. Okay, that was a little bit more than a half a cup. And we're also going to put a little syrup. And that's it, y'all. Kimberly Davis, happy anniversary. Hi, Miss Kimberly. Thank you. A little bit of syrup, y'all. I don't measure anything. I just put it in. And Deborah uh, Thomas said, where do we meet? Deborah Thomas? I don't know. Where did y'all meet? Did we meet, Miss Thomas? Don't forget to... Oh, thank you. Thank you, Miss Lachelle. Yes, ma'am. Everybody on here, give me a thumbs up. Hit that like button, y'all. You can put a little cayenne if you want them a little spicy. But like I said, this is my baby girl's favorite right here, one of them. So... She just want them sweet. That's simple, okay? We're going to cover them. I'm going to cover them with a little bit of aluminum foil. Uh, let's cover so I'll catch y'all later. That's Samantha. <laughs> That's Samantha. Yeah, a little piece of aluminum foil on top. They go in the oven. Everything's gonna cook at 350. Okay. Oh, I got. I need to clean my hands. All right. In the oven. See how quick? Let me wash my hands real quick, y'all. Dishwashing the glass. Turn that grill over. Yeah. I'll turn it off. Alright, I'm just washing my hands, out there scrubbing that, um, that grill. Okay, so now we're going to put some uh, potatoes I'm rotten in the oven. And what I did was, I pre-cooked my potatoes just a little bit to give them a head start, okay? Because I don't want to wait an hour or more to wait on these potatoes, okay? So let's get our dish for the potatoes, y'all. You see, I've done a lot of prepping, y'all. How is everyone doing, everyone on here? Okay, we're gonna put our potatoes, our gratin in here. This is for our eggs, so we're going to leave that there. Now, in our potatoes, our gratin, I, like I said, let me show you the potatoes. See, I peeled them. I sliced them. And I parboiled them just a little bit, probably about five, six minutes, okay, so that they're not raw. It just kind of helps the process because I want y'all to see everything, right? So let's get a spoon for these. Hey, 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 that door. Let's get a spoon for this. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna, in here we'll go cheese, heavy cream. Get me some heavy cream out of there. Heavy cream. Heavy cream with what you just bought. Right. I shredded up some cheese. We've got Gruyere cheese. We've got Harvardi cheese, and I've got extra sharp. Now, with our gratin potatoes, you can use any kind of cheese you want, okay? Any kind you want. I've got some butter melted that we're going to put on these potatoes, and we're going to use some heavy cream, okay? The only seasoning is because I did salt my potatoes. So the only seasoning that we're going to put on these potatoes is a little paprika, and a little garlic powder, granulated garlic, okay? 
Let's see, paprika. I got it here, y'all. I got it. Okay. And we're gonna kind of layer this. All right. So we're gonna put some of our potatoes in. Put about half of them in. I'm assuming this bowl will hold them. Hey, Miss Marvel Parker. Okay, so that's some of our potatoes. And you really, you don't even have to layer them, really. Okay, I'm going to put some of that uh, butter. Let me get my butter here. I melted it. Well, some of it is melted. Some of the butter is melted, not all. Sorry. So I'm going to take some of it here and just put it in my dish. Do y'all like our gratin potatoes? We love them. All right, we're going to take, I'm going to put that heavy whip, whipping cream in last, y'all. Let's take and put a little bit of paprika garlic, granulated, and you can put any kind of seasoning you want. And we're going to put some of this cheese. Okay. And we'll put that heavy whipping cream in last. Y'all, look at this cheese. Yes. And what I don't use, don't worry, I will bag it and we will use it. Sometimes I get carried away. All right, let's put the rest of our potatoes in. All right. didn't have any dishes when I started, but I will when I'm done. We can use some black pepper in here too, y'all. Yes, let's put some black pepper. And this will go in the oven as well. We're going to let it cook a good 30 minutes. And it may not be done when I get off of here, but I will let y'all see it. Okay. There's no need in you watching me put it together if you can't see the results. Black pepper. Okay. Are y'all watching the Super Bowl tonight? You know, I don't really watch it. I used to. I had a, a brother-in-law that actually played for the NFL for 12 years. And when we first got married, I used to get into it, but not so much anymore, y'all. I just like to fix fun food for them. Okay, so let's put some heavy whipping cream in here. I like to put fix fun food. Calvin sits and watch the game so he can nibble. Okay, this is heavy whipping cream. Let's pour some in. Pour about a cup in here. All right. Mercy. It's going to be good, y'all. And let's finish off our cheese. It's that simple. It's that simple. I hope I didn't forget anything. I have a habit of doing that. Welcome everybody on. What are some of you fixing this day for the Super Bowl? If, if you're watching it, are you having a party? Do you have guests coming? We have no one coming. <laughs> Thank goodness. Hi, Miss Laverne. Hi, Miss T. Lee. Heart. 
Hello. You put heavy whipping cream in your macaroni. You can, you certainly can put it in macaroni. Okay, I got a little bit of cheese left and I'll bag that up. Just wanna make sure all of this is covered. This is going into that same oven, y'all, same oven. Now what I do, whenever I use cheese on top of a dish, I cover it. At first, because I don't want my cheese to outcook the, what's up under it, right? Let's get all of this out the way. We're going to keep it moving. All right, so this is going to go in the oven. This is garbage here. Okay. This goes back in the fridge. Thank you. All right. Isn't that gorgeous, y'all? We're going to gently cover it with some aluminum foil. I'm going to let it cook a good 20, 25 minutes, and then we'll check it, okay? If it's all good and bubbly. And like I said, these potatoes were pre-cooked, okay? They were pre-cooked. <coughs> Cut down the time. All right. Now we are going to, ooh, bless you, ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> He got to get out of the kitchen, dog, don't he? <laughs> you got to go. <laughs> no, I'm just playing. <laughs> ooh, stop it. What you sneezing? <laughs> Y'all don't mind me. I mess with him all the time. <laughs> all that, all that sneezing. <laughs> okay, y'all, let's do these deviled eggs. Yes, let's do these deviled eggs. And I only have a few eggs, okay? Just a few. Because they can't, they can't have a whole lot of everything. Let's get us a fork. I think I got nine eggs here. I think that's it, right? There's my yolks. Okay, yeah, I cooked them to death. It's all good. I'm going to take and break up my yolks. Now, my eggs are simple. Sometimes I put crab meat. You know, it just depends on what you want to do. How you feeling about it, right? as to what you want in here. Me, tonight, these are gonna be simple. And I'm just breaking up my egg yolks. All right, yes. Just breaking it up, that, that's all I'm doing. This time, I will not forget my mustard. We're we are going to put a little mustard. We're going to put a little sweet relish and some mayonnaise. I'm gonna drop a pinch of salt. Pinch of salt. Okay. And a pinch of black pepper. Mm hmm. That simple. Mayonnaise. And start with just just a little bit, and then you can work your way up. And we're going to go ahead on and add our pickles. You don't have to put the pickles if you don't want. We like that little sweetness in ours. Paprika or paprika, okay? I like that in my eggs. Simple. 
See how quickly you can throw a meal together? Little. Now this looks like it might need just a smidgen more mayonnaise. Just a smidge. Welcome everybody that is on. And between Calvin and myself, since it's our anniversary, we, we just kind of fix the stuff that we like. And that's not, you know, that doesn't take a long time to prepare. Let me get a little spoon. We're going to scoop this right into these eggs. And that's another dish down, right? Yes. Yes, Carrie. I'm just making sure I've combined it, making sure I haven't forgotten anything. As a matter of fact, let me try to just, just, just a little bit. Make sure I got enough mustard. Mm hmm. Yes, y'all. That is it. If you want to put a little, you know what? Let's put a little cayenne if I can find some. Put a little cayenne in there. Give it a little heat. If y'all are coming on late, I, that's a smidgen of cayenne. Just, just to give it a little kick. If y'all are coming on late, we got baby backs in the oven. They'll be coming out soon. I just put in some potato au gratin and some baked beans. We're gonna throw together, and I mean throw together a little dessert tray. Everything is bought. <laughs> okay, here we go. Everything is store bought. I'm not fancy. You wanna use a bag, you can do that. Vinegar to what? We want the sweetness. You can use um, dill pickles in here if you want. So all kind of ways to make deviled eggs is whatever you want in them. Cynthia Joyce, happy anniversary. Hey, Miss Cynthia Joyce. I know I see it, y'all. It's all good. See, there's nothing fancy about this. Put them together. Hi, Miss Andrea. Mm -mm. Y'all, I got Calvin in the house with me today. Samantha's out with her child. She's in the Jacksonville Symphony. She plays the viola, so she has practice on Sundays. Heisenberg, say hi. Hi, Miss Heisenberg. M Miss or Mister? I'm not looking at the camera right now, y'all. Like I said, if you want to get fancy, you can put crab meat in here, lobster meat. You can do, you can do all kind of things with deviled eggs. My family loves eggs. They love them. All right. That's simple. See? The, another dish down. Done. Done. Okay. Let's fill them up since I have some of this here a little bit left. Let's fill them up. You want to say hi? Who? Uh, Martin Yuma. Yuma. Okay. All right, I'm just going back and using up my filling. 
put a little bit of paprika on the top, and that's it, y'all. That's all. Mm-hmm. I forgot to put more butter on the top, but it's all good. It's all good. Okay. We will wrap these, put them in the fridge. We're going to make a real quick tray. I'm, I'm not making the dessert. We're just going to put it together. But before we do that, let's go to the stove and get our steaks on. Like I said, I'm not going to keep the camera on the steaks. Here, Calvin, put that in the fridge for me. And then you come back and get the mayonnaise. Mayonnaise. We clean up a little bit, y'all. Just a little bit. All of this needs to be put up. All right. Let's turn towards the stove, y'all, and check out what we got over here, okay? I let my meat sit out. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm sorry. Hey, everybody. Hey, all of you. How are you? Yes. We have, I let my meat sit out. Come to room temperature, and I've already seasoned it. Y'all know what this is if y'all watch me. <laughs> Lamb chops, steaks. And I said earlier, our goal was to go outside on my griddle, y'all, and it ain't happening, okay? I'm going to have to fix them right here on the stove, and that's all good. So what we're going to do is we're going to drop them in the pan, and then we're going to turn back around and put that um, dessert tray together, okay? I'll show you what I have. I will show you what I have. It is all store bought. Doesn't always have to be homemade, okay? Get my pans here on the stove. And we're gonna drop these bad boys into these skillets and let them sear. It doesn't take those long at all. Now the steaks, We'll, we'll stick those steaks into the oven after we sear them. But the lamb chops, we won't need to. We won't need to. I'm going to put a little bit of olive oil on the bottom of these pans, just a little bit. They're going to make their own grease. Okay. How is everyone doing? For those who, and I forgot I had my little garlic olive oil. How is everyone doing this Sunday, this beautiful Sunday? If I have not spoken with you, I apologize. Um, let's see who we got. Hi, Miss Christian, Miss Danella, Amali. I, and if, if I'm messing up your name, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Half the time I can't see. I recognize names that I, I've seen before. I can see those, but some of them I, I struggle with. Okay, so our pans are getting hot. Let's unwrap our meat. Y'all want to see me. Y'all want to see the meat. Okay. And we're going to just let them sear. I'm going to take this same pan here and stick it in the oven. I've done this before, not that long ago. But whenever we have an excuse to eat some steak, we do. The steak I season with kosher salt, black pepper, a little bit of uh, granulated garlic. And I've just got a few sprigs of rosemary sitting here, okay? And then my lamb chops, salt, pepper garlic you know your your basic seasonings whatever you like now let's see if this grease is hot enough for these lamb chops let's see yes sir yes sir it's getting there y'all it's getting there just removing this rosemary i will throw it in the pan at some point okay it is hot enough One of our favorite meats in this house, I tell everybody all the time, is lamb chops. When these are cut so small, they're not going to take long, y'all. They're not. By the time they get a little color, they'll be done. But are they?
they beautiful or what? Yes, you don't have enough seeds in it. All right. Pan is hot. Don't worry about it. It's going in. Like I said, those lamb chops, few minutes, few minutes. These steaks are thick, of course. So the goal is just to get, I'm not going to move them. The goal is just to get a good sear and throw them in the oven for a little bit. That's all. All right. Look at those beautiful lamb chops. Get down in there, buddy. These are your lollipop lamb chops. Uh, mm -mm. Yeah. He knows I'm on live. Look at those beautiful chops. Mm -hmm. Baby! Yep, I'm flipping them already, y'all. They're beautiful. Huh? It's a spam. I think I see. I'm sorry, y'all. If y'all see some weird comments, and the thing is, I forget to make, as much as Samantha is here with me, I forget to make her a moderator so that she can catch those for me. But she isn't here, but she's on the line. She is on the line. And she, she, just, she just notified me that there's something going on on there, and I apologize. And if I can catch it again, I don't know who's who. Okay. All right, y'all. See these beautiful lamb chops back here? Let's get us a plate, and we're going to turn around to the stove. I guess, though, when, when you're searing, you got to pay attention, huh, y'all? Welcome everybody that's on. And you don't want to overcook lamb. Don't do it. Don't do it. Look at that beautiful. Oh, my goodness gracious. Mm. You want your lamb kind of medium. At least we do. Let's let's put it that way. Because I guess everybody is not the same. And these are so small. Feel like they're not done after you sear them. You can stick them in the oven. It's all good. Dropping some more in, y'all.
Mm. Oh, Calvin, these gonna be good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. See how quick that is? Put the rest of them in. Wish there was a way I could fit them in here and they all. All right, y'all. Let's check these steaks. I better turn this oven on on the bottom. Oh, uh, yeah. For those steaks. Woo, baby. Mmm. Y'all. I, I, I thought I would walk away from these lamb chops, but I can't, y'all. Unless we want burn up lamb chops tonight. Chop boil. But they're doing good. I'm gonna give this steak a couple of more minutes and it's going right into the oven, okay? And then we're gonna start our dessert. Those ribs are looking good, y'all. They'll be coming out in just a minute. Boy, this big ass is cooking with a vengeance. <laughs> Gracious, you didn't cook right. Come on now. And these are filet mignon steaks. Baby. I haven't lost anyone. I'm sorry. All right. Anybody talking to me? How is everybody doing? How is everyone doing? Yes. Hi, Juan Juan, Visible, Losers, Pink Kitty Cat. Yeah, we got a, I got a lot of names I've never seen before. If you see it, something weird, Calvin, let me know if you see a weird comment. I did. You did? I did. Y'all, these lamb chops are just about done. Huh? Okay. Why today? They don't know I'm, they don't normally bother me, y'all. Some people have nothing else to do. No, don't cut the comment, but make the follower only. Okay. Okay. These I'm turning off the steak. I'm taking out these lamb chops. The steaks are going in the oven, okay? 
I'm gonna put my timer on. I can't hear you. Are my regulars on here? What's going on, y'all? Yeah. What's going on? All right. Let's put these in the oven. And we can get back to what we were doing. And see, y'all, I can't cook and watch the comments, too. Huh? That's why people have moderators so that they can catch that kind of stuff. Yeah. And so I guess I need to get um tell me that's not beautiful. 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 Yes, that's our lamb chops, okay? So let's get to our dessert. We're going to put a dessert together really really quick, y'all. And once again, the people that really came on to watch me, I apologize. I don't know what's going on. I have never really had that happen to me where it just goes crazy on my live. I'm just going to take a minute and look. Hi, Mimi, Michelle. I know you. Hi, King Candy, Sabertooth, Kayla, Maddie. Okay, maybe I have some sane people on here. <laughs> okay, y'all, let's put this quick dessert together. And like I said, it doesn't always have to be homemade. I love to make homemade desserts. I do. Everything is under control. I got everything in the oven. The steaks are in the oven. The lamb chops. Oh, I got to put a piece of aluminum foil over my lamb chops. We want to keep them warm. They are gorgeous, y'all. Told you, quick meal, quick. Oh, the lamb chops are beautiful, Cal. My lord. Mmm. Okay. The ribs going to be coming out, but let's put our dessert together. And really, all, y'all, I done smoked up my kitchen. Really, all I want to do is um make something look pretty okay when it comes to sweets and like i said i bought everything but we're gonna put something together right and it's just for me and my family but we like to do that we like to act like we're having a party yes i bought i bought a cake for our anniversary yes we like chocolate let me show you the cake we love chocolate See that? And I'm going to take this cake, and they got it They got it crooked here on the thing, I'm a jiggy, but it's all good because we're going to cover it up anyway. We're going to take this cake, and we're going to put it on this cake plate. All right? We're going to start there. Okay? And then... I've got grapes and stuff, but I don't think they'll be needed. Uh, we'll see. Just to fill this up. And remember, this is just sweets. This is what we like. I've got some, what is this? Is this cannolis? I don't know what this is. Oh, this is cheesecake almond cone. You know, you just put a variety of stuff on your board. Those who watch me know I have done that before. I have some little treats here. See, it's just small dessert treats, so everybody can have something different, right? 
and we're going to take and we're going to sit this around. Just, just sit it around. I think those are called cannolis. Isn't that beautiful? Isn't that beautiful? I got them stuck to this. Okay, here we go. Another cannoli. Mm-hmm. Let's put that there. All right, and then we can take these large, even if we just put one, I guess, this cheesecake bomb, this cheesecake bomb, all right, so even though it's just for us, we feel special, y'all, we feel special, right? Somebody else must have put something on there because they're holding something for review. Lord, have mercy. Wow, that is so... Okay, I'm just trying to catch the, 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 the crazies, y'all. I'm trying to catch the crazies. And then um, I have some more chocolate-covered strawberries because I love chocolate-covered strawberries, okay, y'all? I got a phone here I'm looking at. Ma, I'm trying to block the, okay, some of these. Samantha's trying to help from where she is, but unfortunately she can't. I'll take care of that by next week. I will take care of it. All right, y'all. So we're just going to put some of these chocolate covered strawberries here. And that's that. See how simple that is to make something pretty? Let's take a look at that bad boy. Tell me, do you see any crazies on there? Well, I, I, it's through there. Well, I ain't turning it, I turn it off. So I go, go in there again. And, and That's it, y'all. It's that simple. Okay. Now, I had some fruit. Say my name. Okay, I see. I see. Hold on. I see that. Mm, they're going so fast. And it won't even let me go back up. <laughs> that one right there. Thank you, Miss Cynthia Joyce. It's nice to see some, some names that I know. Hey, y'all. Thank you. Thank you, y'all. So this will be <laughs> this will be our dessert. Now let's take a like a look at those ribs, okay, y'all? That needs to go into the fridge. We'll see y'all. We'll see. Make yeah, make 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 some space. All right, Calvin is gonna find a place for this in the fridge. Let's look at these ribs. Because it won't be long. We'll be eating that. All right. Let's get them. Here, these strawberries can go back in. All right, y'all. Let's get these ribs. And we're going to check on... I'm sure those beans are not done. But I do need to see where these potatoes are in the process. Ooh, baby. Potatoes aren't done either, but let's look at the ribs. Oh, beautiful. Look, y'all. Mercy. Look at those beautiful ribs. Gorgeous, huh? Let's take and cut. See if we can cut one. Let's 
get us a big old knife. Mm. And a fork. And I hate to do this with them just coming out of the oven, but I want y'all to see them. I can't seem to get my phone right here. I don't know what's going on. It's just that kind of day. But it's all good. Yes, yeah, so if you see anything weird, Calvin, let me know. If somebody keeps repeating the same thing over and over, that's a sign. Oh, y'all, th these things are falling apart. Mercy, they're falling apart. Let's 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 look at this here. Mm. Hmm. Look how tender that meat is, y'all. It just comes off the bone. Y'all, these baby back ribs are hot, but they are good with that simple barbecue sauce. Simple. Mm. They are so tender. Now, Cal can eat a whole slab by himself. He loves these. Mm-hmm. Mm. Well, y'all, I think I have fixed Everything I was supposed to fix. I want to show y'all these potatoes though. Hold tight. Hold tight. They're not done. But I want to show them to you. Mm. And I think at this point, I'm going to take the aluminum foil off. See, the cheese is just starting to melt, so they're not done. And the milk hasn't done what it needs to do, but look how beautiful that is. Y'all, <laughs> these are going to be good, okay? These are going to be excellent, but you see that milk is still, mm-mm. So it's going to be a minute. In fact, I will put the aluminum back on it. I'm going to turn them up. So about 375, maybe even 400, and let them get to cooking. But y'all, I think I put together everything that I was going to, okay? And again, I apologize. I wasn't able to get out to the grill. So thank y'all so much. Thank you, Jesus. Thank y'all so much. I love each and every one of you. Uh, the crazies, hopefully next week I'll have a moderator and somebody to take care of all of it, okay? Because um, Calvin and Samantha is unable to do it right now. But I'll take care of it, y'all. Thank you. Enjoy the Super Bowl tonight if you're going to watch it. I won't be, okay? Uh, I'll be eating, though. Uh, and Valentine's Day, all right? Because Calvin and I are going to enjoy our 32nd anniversary, y'all. It is a blessing. Thank all of you. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. Bye-bye, y'all. Hello. She's the end of the last. I am. I was hacked.